Chandipura virus is a member of the Rhabdoviridae family which includes many other viruses, one of which causes rabies. This virus was first discovered in the mid-1960s and was named after the Chandipura village in Maharashtra. This is a vector-borne virus infection and is transmitted by sandflies, ticks and sometimes mosquitoes. Now, this is not the first time that the Chandipura virus outbreak has happened in our country. Earlier, two sporadic outbreaks have been noticed in central India. These outbreaks usually coincide with the pre-monsoon and the monsoon season because the vectors, primarily the phlebotomine sandflies, they are more prevalent during this time. Poor air quality, poor sanitation and poor environmental hygiene also contribute to the outbreak. These outbreaks usually coincide with the pre-monsoon and the monsoon season as the vectors, which are primarily the phlebotomine sandflies, they are more prevalent during this time. Poor sanitation, poor air quality and poor environmental hygiene also contribute to this outbreak. This year, the outbreak's epicenter has been Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. So, which is the most vulnerable population for Chandipura virus infection? The Chandipura virus infection primarily affects children who are less than 15 years old. Why? There are three reasons. First of all, they have a relatively immature immune system, so they are not able to fight against the virus. Second, they have a developing brain which is more vulnerable to the uh, harmful effects of the Chandipura virus infection. And third, they spend more time playing outside. So, they are more exposed to the vectors like sandfly, ticks and mosquitoes. Now, what are the symptoms of Chandipura virus infection? Symptoms include sudden onset flu-like symptoms like high-grade fever, cough, congestion, loose motions, vomiting, headache, nausea, pain in the abdomen. And since the virus is very aggressive on the nervous system, it can also cause symptoms of brain swelling which are also known as encephalitis. And these may cause uh, symptoms like uh, confusion, altered sensorium, seizures, coma, multi-organ failure and even death. So, how to manage this infection? There is no specific treatment for this viral infection. Early diagnosis and supportive management is the mainstay. Supportive management includes management of airway, breathing, circulation, fever, seizures, increased intracranial pressure, prevention of bacterial infections, etc. Now, preventive measures. Research is ongoing on the treatment as well as vaccines for the Chandipura virus infection. But as of now, there is no available uh, vaccine in the market. So, preventive measures can be practiced. These include uh, using mosquito nets, mosquito patches and repellents on the kids, encouraging the kids to wear full sleeves clothes when they are going outside. Do not allow water to accumulate in the kitchen, garden or balcony. Do not allow waste or garbage to accumulate for a longer period. Handle the garbage and waste properly. Cover the food pots as well as the water pots properly. Insecticide and pesticide treatments can be done, especially in the breeding sites. For example, the holes and crevices in the walls, holes in the trees, storerooms, dark spaces, etc. So, should the parents panic? No, the parents should not panic. Awareness is very important, practice preventive measures and if you feel that your child is developing any symptom then please visit the emergency. Timely intervention is the key to the quicker recovery. Take care.